everyone, it's Leonette. Welcome back to DIY Beauty and Purpose. So today I am doing a take two refresh on my guest bathroom. A few months ago I painted the vanity, I painted the walls, I gave everything a really good refresh. However, it's starting to become a little bland still and just uh, it just need a little refresh again. So that's all we're doing today. So I made this uh, Hello Sweet Cheeks uh, during my last refresh. It was one of the DIYs that I made. I'm going to remove that because I have plans for this wall. And um, I'm going to put new decor and um, I'm going to actually be planking it. So I'm going to do a full plank. <laughs> I know you've probably seen this with other DIYers and where on a budget, you just make the lines. You can use several things. I've I've seen people use washi tape. I've seen people use, uh, which is a little bit more expensive, like plywood, and then you just use it as planks or shiplap, I should say. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to use the Sharpie look. I grabbed a piece of scrap wood from the garage. It's six inches wide, which is what I wanted the, the uh, shiplap to look like. And so what I'm trying to do here is I'm really, really drawing my bus to make sure that this first plank is nice and leveled and straight. Um, of course, when you are working solo, sometimes things get very difficult. <laughs> but um, I did try my best because this is going to serve me as the, uh, I guess, the first plank so that everything else is leveled. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Eventually, I did have to cut the piece of plywood smaller to get into tighter areas like behind the toilet and that kind of thing so but for now I am just leaving it pretty long to make sure that I have as long lines as possible All right, so I'm done with the lines with the shiplap look. I'm just going to add this, uh, uh, oh my gosh, sign. I, I made it a few months ago for my living room, but I have plans to do something else for there. So I did place it on the bathroom wall. All right, so on to my second DIY here. I am going to DIY a toilet paper holder. We have not had a toilet paper holder in this bathroom since we moved it was broken so we just put it on top of the vanity it's no big deal right <laughs> well I just wanted to do something different I wanted to keep the vanity nice and clear so what I did was I grabbed one of those plungers from the Dollar Tree I removed the stick and I cut it to about a size that you would have for a toilet paper I didn't measure it or anything I just pretty much made the cut I sanded it down a little bit and dusted it and now I am going to stain it with the Verithane Golden Oak tone which is becoming one of my favorites especially if you're staining over bare wood it has a really nice tone all right so now i'm going to grab these are they called eye hooks i think they are i've had a little packet that i bought at walmart for i want to say it was about a dollar so now I, I should be spray painting it black but i don't have black spray paint and i'm not going to go to the stores of course so I'm using what I have on hand, and that is this really, really dark gray that kind of resembles a lot in a dark brown, or not brown, uh, black. So I'm going to let those dry, and then I'm going to take one of these basket hangers from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make some hangers for the little stick 
pull and I'm just going to remove one of the chains and then what I'm going what I'm planning on doing is making it to where you can hang it from a hook and that's going to make sense here in a minute so I am going to separate some of the links here and then I want this to have two hooks so I'm going to take one of the hooks from another chain and then place it on the bottom of this chain so that now, now I have two hooks and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to remove the bottom link so that I have two separate chains and then those chains are going to go on each side of the toilet paper um, pole there the, the stick So now I have two even chains. All right, so now I'm going to drill a couple holes on each end of the stick because this is where I need to put the eye hooks. So I picked a drill bit that fits or is similar in width as the eye hooks. And then now I am just um, screwing them in and until they're nice and tight. There you have it. All right, so then I am just going to add the hooks to each, or not the hooks, the chain to each hook, but I'm not gonna do it through the hooks or through the um, the other end. I'm gonna do it through this end. So I'm just separating with some needle nose pliers so a little bit so that I can get the chain in. I want this part to be permanent. And there you have it. So that's kind of what it looks like now. So taking it to the bathroom, I'm going to take the one of these like coat hanger hooks and I'm going to place it on anywhere here by the toilet I'm going to screw it in and I had a little bit of a hard time it, things kept falling <laughs> and it's a tight spot so I had to keep getting it from the floor it was a mess guys there's the screw there's the whole thing I was frustrated all right so finally I took my time and screwed it in nice and slowly and um again i'm not i'm not looking to it, it doesn't matter where i screwed it in it's just a matter of putting it on the side of the toilet where it's nice and easily accessible for when you need it so once it was screwed in i'm now just going to i place the toilet paper in there and then there you have it it's a pretty cool diy i think using dollar tree items and i'm pretty proud of myself all right so on to the mirror guys i'm thinking about i'm um, one to frame the mirror so i took this one by four and i cut it to fit the length or the width of the mirror so what i want to do the mirror has these clamps that are keeping the mirror on the wall but it's keeping the the wood too away too far away you know like too it's not flush with the mirror so what i'm going to do is right now i'm putting a little dab of wood glue this is only to help me mark where i need to make some holes on the back of the wood so here i am again i cut the wood it's five feet long so the 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 mirror is five feet wide and i'm just kind of placing it as best as i can it's very tight and uncomfortable so now i am just going to press it against the clamps where i have the glue and then again the hope or the goal is to have that glue serve me as uh, markers there you have it so there's the marks and that's where I'll be making the holes so I'm going to use I don't know what these are called honestly I really don't know if you know write it down on the comments <laughs> but um, I'm going to use that tool <laughs> and my drill to make some holes now I'm going to be very careful not to go past the other side because I don't want a hole but um going to make it deep enough as far as I can to give it uh, so that the frame could be as flush as possible to the mirror. And then I did the same thing to the bottom plank. So the frame's going to have four sides, of course. So I'm going to do it on the top and the bottom, the same process. I'm not going to do it on the ones on the sides because there's no clamps on the side of the mirror. So just to let you know.
All right, so now I am making sure it fits. I'm a, I'm a little nervous <laughs> because, you know, I already made these holes, but um, it actually did. I mean, I was so impressed. I got super lucky. And again, like I said, I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. All right, so now that I have all the pieces cut, so let me tell you a little bit while you watch me here make some pocket holes. What I did to frame the mirror, so I cut the top five feet long. I cut the bottom five feet long. I marked where I needed those holes. I drilled the holes, and I make sure that it fit. I then use, and I apologize for not having a footage, but I'm, that's why I'm explaining now. So then I use some painter's tape, and I temporarily place the boards, the top on the bottom, so that I can then measure to see how long I needed to cut the sideboards. And they ended up being, uh, I don't know, like two feet and some inches. Um, so that's what I'm doing here now. I'm going to have all four, I already have all four boards cut and I'm going to make pocket holes just on the ones that are um, the smaller boards. So not the top and not the bottom. I made pocket holes on each side of the smaller boards that are going to go on each side. And I'm, out, I'm using pocket hole screws to make sure these joints are nice and secure and strong. And then I'm using my little helper there, my seven-year-old, um, who loves to help me hold the board so that I can screw them in. And this is a pretty big frame. So I'm just showing a little corner. This thing is taking up almost all of my free space <laughs> in my studio. All right, so now I took it outside. It's a beautiful day, so I got to take advantage of that. And I'm going to stain the frame with the same stain that I used earlier. This is the Golden Oak by Varathane. And I actually gave it just one coat. I like the lighter tone, um, kind of farmhouse-ish. I don't know. I really like this tone. So while that's dry, now I am getting to this light fixture. Yes, ideally, I would have changed the light fixture to something a little bit more modern, farmhouse style. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. We're just going to DIY this. <laughs> this is on a budget. I'm trying to keep things low cost. And of course, we're limited on where we can go and we can't just go shopping. So I am going to paint. So I removed those things from the, each light. They were rusty and they were just nasty. And then I painted, oh, I cleaned everything. And then I painted it two coats of regular household latex paint. And then I ordered these light bulbs from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm, now, I'm all done with the light fixture. All right, so here's kind of what I did with what I was telling you with duct or not duct tape, painter's tape. But now I'm just putting it on to hold it in place while I nail it in place. So I left about an inch on the button, the top and on the bottom so that I can. Well, this was actually my husband's idea to nail it in. I was so nervous, guys. I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope I don't go through the um, through the mirror. But um, I didn't. It worked out and it's put in place now. Worked out well. All right. So now on to my, what is this? My fourth DIY? I don't know. I lost track. <laughs> so to my next DIY, I am going to paint the floors. Guys, I am like so surprised at how bold I am getting with these things. I was freaking out and nervous. Again, this is such a permanent thing and a big project, but it's a small enough bathroom where I was like, you know what? I've seen other DIYers do it. Why not? Let's give it a try. I am using Bare Premium Paint, uh, and uh, I forget the name, but I'll have it linked down below. It's a really dark gray, and I'm just painting it. It has, it has phenomenal coverage. I mean, can you tell? This thing, it's like, if, if it wasn't that you can see a little bit, you know, because of the brush strokes, it was just awesome. I'm really impressed with the coverage of this paint. All right, so like you can see here, very self-explanatory. I'm just going to paint everything. I'm using a pretty big brush. I want to be able to brush as much as possible uh, with each stroke. And so I'm going to give the floor two coats.
All right, so then I added a stencil to the tile. And I purposely ordered on Amazon a stencil that was larger than each square of the tile. I didn't want to buy a smaller stencil because I think it was already look it, it was already going to look busy and if I bought a smaller stencil it would have been way too busy in my opinion. So I didn't mind that the stencil went over like the grout area and that. I think overall it came out really good. I'm just using a roller and doing very very light coats and I am only doing one coat because I like the little bit of like the distressed look that it has. It's not perfect kind of. So I really like that look and I left it as is. All right, so after the paint and the stencil were dry, I am now sealing everything with my favorite top coat, which is by Verithane. They're polyurethane, and this is in their crystal clear, is usually what I use for my furniture. It's what I had on hand, so it's what I'm using. Um, I am going to seal it. I am wiping it with my sponge applicator that you've probably seen on my other videos, and basically you're just wiping it. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. This was probably the easiest thing I did. Um, you just wipe it, make sure everything's covered. And I did do three coats. So I let it dry, did another coat, let it dry. And it dries pretty quickly um, because you're adding thinner coats. The sponge applicator adds very thin coats. And so it dries pretty quickly. And I did three coats. And then I did let it dry overnight before I had anybody step on it. All right, guys, here is, is this my final DIY? I don't know. But anyways, I am going to paint my vanity top. Again, one of those things where I'm like, am I sure I want to do this? <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to use whatever I have on hand. Right now, I'm just scrubbing everything with a, it kind of, kind of looks like a Brillo pad. This is an SOS, SOS pad. It's what I had on hand. I'm just cleaning everything, roughing it up, and making sure there's no toothpaste, no grime, no nothing. So after it was nice and clean, I am going to tape off the faucet. This faucet needs to be changed. I tell you right now, it is old. It is leaky, <laughs> but I don't have it right now. And so I'm just going to leave it as is for now, but I will be I hoping to switch that out. Um, in the near future. But um, I do want to let you know that we are going to be gutting this whole bathroom eventually, maybe in the next couple of years, and we're going to switch everything. Tub, vanity, everything's going to be switched, and hopefully I can show you a video. So the reason why I'm saying that is because this is all going to be very temporary. I am not using a technique or I'm not using products that are meant to be used on vanity tops like this one. I primed it with Kills with one coat to give it a something to stick to the paint and I'm using regular household paint in white to paint the vanity and I did three coats of the paint now I don't think this is the right thing to do I did this again because we are going to be gutting everything out and this is a temporary thing so if you're looking to do your vanity top I suggest you go when, whenever we are able to go to the hardware store and maybe buy something that is more appropriate for vanity tops. I just wanted to put that out there. So I just did this because it's what I had on hand and again, because it's a temporary thing. All right, so one coat of Kiehl's primer, three coats of paint, and now I am sealing it with the same top coat that I sealed the floor using my sponge applicator. And on the vanity top, I did five coats guys i want to make sure because again this the, the the supplies that i'm using are not meant for vanity tops like this so i am um just trying to make sure it is as sealed as durable as possible so i let i put five coats letting it dry in between each coat All right, so on to my, I believe this is my final DOI. I want to make a very easy and simple towel rack holder. We don't have a towel rack holder. Um, I had for my previous refresh that I did on the bathroom, I did like a little farmhouse ladder for the towel holder. And it, and it worked fine. But you know what? It's not permanent. It was, in the, it was on top of the vanity. It kept falling. The towel was all crazy on it. So I want to make something different. 
I had this piece of scrap plywood in the garage. I, it was already cut to the size. I didn't even have to cut it. It was already on the size. And I'm staining it with the same stain that I've been using, the Verithane and the Golden Oak. I'm going to give it one coat. This is after I sanded it lightly. And then I had this thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like maybe it belonged to like a large oversized like cabinet or dresser. I don't know where I got them. I have two of them. And I'm going to use one here for this towel, towel rack. I'm just going to screw it in. And then my hope is that we can just put a smaller towel through the loop and then have it there. Again, this is temporary, but, but I thought it would be something cute and something different to add on the wall. And that's what I did. All right, so on to my final things. I'm just cleaning everything off, disinfecting, dusting this window and this shelf. The shelf I DIY'd in my last video when, with the other refresh. The window I added on the, on the wall. This is an old window that I got for free. And so I'm going to add this. Uh, is this eucalyptus? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No, I don't think so. <laughs> this greenery um, garland I put as a wreath and then this little jar I just painted in my last DIY video and this little sign just keeping it simple adding some grassy florals here this little um, container I just did another DIY on and then of course my towel rack holder and here's a look at what it looked like before this is the 90s look when everything was so old and dated I want to show you the progression of this bathroom. Here's when I did the first refresh. I think it came out super cute. Um, but again, after a year of when it needed, it needed a refresh. So here's what it looks like now. Sorry. The frame mirror, the white top, the floors, the planked wall or the shiplap wall. Guys, I'm in love. I think that, again, this is something that we're going to remove eventually but for now how beautiful it's just i feel like it was needed i literally painted the entire bathroom from ceiling to floor since my last refresh look at that vanity top super super cute all right guys so this is it for today i hope you enjoyed it thank you for tuning in thank you for watching till the end i hope it inspires you to get some diy done in your home while you are quarantined i hope you are safe Please, please, please stay home. The, these videos, the, I use things that I already had on hand. And I don't want to encourage you to leave your home. Stay home as much as possible. Just use what you have on hand. And uh, stay safe, my friends. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And I hope you have a blessed, blessed day.